What's going on YouTube? Which boy OG Kane? Hold up, let me wake y'all up. I know this supposed to be reaction, but let's do it. To the fuck with y'all. But on um, today we got how Soldier Boy ruined his own career. I ain't gonna lie. Soldier Boy, you you was cool back then, but now since the recent you've been on that bullshit, I'm gonna keep glad, you know, you you finally, you know, settled down. Cause you be you be on that bullshit for real, but um uh, Anyways, if you're new to the channel, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Without that being said, let's get on to the video. Soldier Boy gotta be one of the most problematic people. Oh, hold up, my bad. And this video is by God damn, y'all ain't supposed to be seeing all this. I fucked up the last video. Get like Prince. Make sure to subscribe. I really like the video. Let's go. Industry right now, and maybe even of all time, going back to when Soldier started popping, he had always been involved in some type of controversy. Like at one point, Soldier was going at it with the FBI. Back in 2011, Soldier was wild. Like June 29th, 2011, he dropped his song, and soon started a war with him versus the country. First few lines into the first verse of the song, he randomly said, FBI and all the army troops, what is y'all fighting for? And when he said this, the whole army was going against his man, and it was people from every side of the internet coming at Soulja. And the backlash he was getting was so bad, he had to come out and apologize. He said, as an artist, I let the words get best to me sometimes. There are things that we... No, don't say that bullshit. You knew what you were saying. Fuck wrong with you. You, you, oh, you, black people don't know how to take accountability. Oh, you, you knew what the fuck you were saying. You wanted to say that, lame man, eh? The things that we want to express and when we put them on paper and speak them out loud, they can come out wrong. When I expressed my frustration with the U.S. Army, not only did my words come out wrong, I was wrong to even speak them. So, I write this to give my sincerest apology to all of the members of the United States Military Services. That wasn't all though. Even after this first apology, he came out with an essay apologizing again. Now, I'm not reading the whole thing, but it was bad for soldiers. They were saying his next tape wasn't going to be sold and over. 3,100 Army slash Air Force exchange bases. If that project had that song on there, and you know, if an artist sees something for the effect they bag, they gonna change. But over the years, no exaggeration, Soldier done probably beef with every single artist that you could think of. Yeah, Drake? <laughs> Drake? The nigga got body by Pusha T? Dang. The nigga hiding his kid from the world, but his world wanna hide from the kid? <laughs> Arby Graham in a wheelchair? Drake? Yes! Stop playing with me. Stop telling me like I ain't teach Drake everything he know. Hold on, you taught Drake everything he know. Y'all didn't hear Drake on with his first song? You go, that mean fire, nigga. I'm on fire right now. I had the biggest comeback of 2018. Been talking about Tiger. Tiger? Tiger? This nigga was beefing with Tiger? Huh? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what Tiger had the biggest. Man, get the out of here, nigga. I had the biggest comeback. <clears throat> Thought it was over with for me. After that Chris Brown, after that Migo, y'all tried to count me out. I ain't forgot about that. I forgot. I ain't forgot about none of that. So I'm back with a chip on my shoulder. Fuck back on my mama. And you heard what he just said. His Migos beef. What happened with them? If you remember back during 2016, 2017, Soldier was just beefing with any person who came to mind. I don't know if he was all right, but I don't think so. Cause I mean. Who is beefing with this many people? And when I say anybody, I really mean it. It was a point in time where he was beefing with Shia LaBeouf. 2016, Shia LaBeouf randomly started rapping. He went on the Breakfast Club just dissing everybody, from Drake to Layati, a soldier. And you know if soldier ever hear his name mentioned, he gonna respond. I wouldn't even be surprised if a nigga responded to this video. Freestyle how, road chores on a page for Taste annihilation, taste annihilation. Guys, you- Yeah, something was wrong with soldier. Um... That motherfucker just wanted attention, I guess. I am late, then you're a waste man. Faker than Drake's Jamaican accent. Old as on your past tense. Slight you when you still cared about hip hop, my dick. If I had to use less discretion when letting those in, got less than blessings. Listen, this is a test and flex. If you will quiz them, I'm mixing with rhythm. This is cowboy. Hey, Shia Buck, you can't never come to Atlanta, nigga. You can't never come to the streets in the hood. You will never, you can never live my life, my nigga. You need to stick to acting. Real, be rap for you. For real, pull up on you. Child of boy. Tell my, keep my name out your mouth. Tell my, don't want no beef. My mama, 
Better speak to act. Even after this video, Shot ain't respond like a normal person. He dropped another freestyle snapping on Soldier. Hey, Big, can you do me a favor? This is Shia. Uh, can you play this on your radio station? It's my last one. Listen, me again, it's heat again. That's three of them. You think I was trying to achieve something. What's the reasoning? What's been eating him? Why's he got this gusto? I just finished playing tennis like I'm John McEnroe. Compare me to Brando, Eminem, pen to pen. I'm better than him and him. 20 men, two teams of QNs with new jams who all knew him could speak fluid. I just do this. The truth is, I'm Cooper. Okay, this nigga flow is slow as shit to me, but hey, let me figure out. Let me figure out Optimus Prime homeboy and Boom be homeboy know how to rap a little something. Let me fucking find out. Let me find out. You lose this, your roof is in jeopardy. <laughs> he bro need accessory please know you equal ascent to me your raps feel specter g alive for a century maintain it impressively give him a hand not applause his draws is hitting the sand can't get it because attempting rich his pants ignorant insignificant mm. man differences damn and right after he got done beefing with Sean, he went right to quavo say this one time and one time only bro i speaking on my name bro y'all know fun already watch my bro, can't start nobody. Lil Yachty that started with me. He texts my phone first. Shia LaBeouf, the white boy from Transformers, he dissed me first. You feel me? Quavo, he started me first. So now that I'm responding to these, that's all the boy crazy. So the boy bullet. So the boy. Pull up! Quavo, I text you my address at one o'clock. I waited for you to seven o'clock. We supposed to catch the fade one on one, put it on World Star. You never showed up. You know how I'm rocking. When you got your chain snatched in DC, who the first one you call? You call Big Soul. I got my chain snatched, bro. Don't be mad at me, bro. I ain't mad at you. I'm just gonna help you get back. You got my address. Pull up for Hey, bro, I ain't squashing shit. And then any something to say about it. Me. But past Soldier beefing with every rapper known to man. Right at the height of all these problems, Soldier got booked on some wild charges. Cause soon after that Quavo vid came out, 12 came and raided Soldier Crib. TMZ wrote, it looks like all the Soldier Boy gun towing finally caught up to him. He was just arrested after someone snitched on a rapper for threatening people online. Law enforcement tell TMZ they paid a visit to the Soldier Boy home on Thursday. Cops showed up, searched his house, and we told they found a gun inside, so he got arrested. But that was really just a slap on the wrist for Soldier. A couple days later, he out, he free doing what he wants. Which leads us to his next problem. Soldier Boy versus Chris Brown. At the time, Chris was messing with Karuchi, and one day out the blue, Soldier Boy commented some hard eyes on one of her picks. And Chris ain't like this. Chris texted Soldier on the phone and was basically like, let's fight, let's hit bounce. Y'all should've knew Soldier wasn't keeping that private. Chris Brown, you a When I see you, I'm gonna beat the You think you hard cause you hit Rihanna? Cause you beat Rihanna? Do that to me, you you gonna call my phone on FaceTime talking about some oh why you like Karuchi pictures on Instagram man why you like Karuchi pictures on Instagram when I see you I'ma catch the fade I'ma knock you out I'm gonna run it's fruit time probably ain't even good in the hood we from the same hood I bumped it nigga when I see you catching the fade nigga I'ma knock your you got me up officer soldier whip I got caught with a Draco in the 30 clip and I spit that check for the best to get me out of jail before you see what the f on my face. When I see you, Chris, I'ma beat your ass. And Karuchi don't want you. She don't want you, you lame ass. I snort so much coke. If you've been getting Chris, bro. Chris? Let me stop. <laughs> you a nigga. And really over the years, like I've been saying throughout this whole video, he just been getting into it with everybody. And I'm not trolling when I say this, but I really do want to know what's going on with this man. Because like I see, not normal for a nigga to be beefing with this many people. But it went from him getting into it with artists to him technically going at it with his fans. Because he got the scamming bag. I don't know if he was trying to get a bag or what, but this man was selling any and everything you could take of from slides to shoes to watches to game console. And the way he was promoting this game console was like a real console. He was saying it had over 800 games from all these different consoles and platforms. It had PS2 games, Nintendo games. It was basically supposed to be like a emulator console and you probably wondering okay he's saying all this how much was it going for he was selling this for about 200 dollars and if we really being technical about it 
it is a scam because if you got a computer, you could have downloaded every single one of them games for free. But that wasn't all though. He had different versions. He had a portable version, kind of like a Nintendo Switch. But this is where the problems came, right? After it got announced, people was calling Soulja out. First question, how is this even legal? How are you selling these games from all these different companies and all these different platforms under your name? Questions ain't stopped at that though. The people felt like it was overpriced. And eventually Soldier did react to all that backlash. He said, I know it's new to the industry. I know they scratching their heads. There's a lot to talk about, but hey, I'm just a person with a dream. I know I've been introduced to the world as a rapper, dancer, producer, but don't just limit me to that and think outside the box and really give me a shot with this honestly. I just think when you coming out with a new product, you gonna be criticized. But I think that once people actually get the product in their hands and get a review of themselves, it'll be a different outcome. Honestly, I feel like everything is 100% legit. And there's no reason for any legal ramifications or anything like that. I don't got no worries at all, any concerns, because everything we doing is legit. It's been researched. Everything been confirmed. I know we gonna be good. Y'all heard him. After this console came out, he was feeling good. He was like, man, f it, I'm not getting sued. He was feeling like none of that hate mattered to him because he was just gonna get his bag at the end of the day. He said, for anyone that thinks Nintendo is gonna sue me, y'all are worried. So just said, nothing gonna happen. Like I said, everything legit. The game's licensed to us. Why y'all wanna see a black man fail so bad? Shaking my head. And I don't know who Soldier thought he was, but thinking Nintendo out of all people won't sue you it's crazy. If you don't know, Nintendo one of the strictest gaming companies today. It's been so many times where YouTubers channels got terminated because they modded a Nintendo game. So look, if you thinking about becoming a gaming YouTuber or just making content, don't play no Nintendo games. Don't use no Nintendo music, none of that. Because they will not spare you. They ain't spare Soldier Boy. Three days after Soldier came out saying Nintendo wasn't going to sue him, they did exactly that. They told him he had to take everything down from that moment forward. Soldier Boy console ain't get sold no more. Well, I don't know for 100% fact if it's still getting sold because if you go take a look at the Soldier Boy game Twitter, they still on their active kind of. Back in 2021, the account said Soldier Boy game is shipping out. And since then, that was the last tweet about the product. But who knows? They could really be getting shipped out. I guess I gotta order one to find out. But I'm telling y'all this just to show the amount of situations and problems he been in over the years. And this not even close to every problem he been in. But the most recent one gotta be his most hurtful situation. Soulja Boy versus Metro Boom. See, during the whole mm. Kendrick Drake beef, Metro had a big hand to play in that. And the thing with Metro, he gets on Twitter and talks a lot. And like with anyone being active on Twitter, it meant people was gonna scroll down. And they scrolled down a lot and found some wild tweets from him many years ago. Basically, he was on there making all these weird ass jokes, like the one on screen, for example. I'm not saying this because like three years. She gon' suck me. She like it. Oh, what the fuck, Metro? Metro, what the hell you got going up? Metro, is that something we need? You out? You out here pulling a motherfucking, motherfucking drink? You out here pulling a goddamn diddy? The fuck you? You pulling that Cosby? What the fuck you got going on, Metro? I thought you were supposed to be making drums, nigga. Shaking my head. <clears throat> People gonna post it out of context and have me looking crazy. But in the wave of old Metro tweets that dropped, one happened to be about Soldier Boy. A Metro tweet from 2012 had this to say, my phone rings to come to the studio with Jeezy. Yours rings says Soldier Boy, a pack of beats sit down. And in 2024, Soldier Boy seen this and was so heated. He started snapping. And this is another reason why I really question if that man was okay. Because there's no way in hell you that mad over something someone said 12 years ago on Twitter. And it wasn't yeah. even like he was really calling Soldier Boy out his name or something. He just made a little tweet. But like I said, Soldier wasn't having it. Y'all think he throw it off? I think he is. Not not a little. I think he he got mental issues for real. Yeah, boy, that was 2007. They got a number one. What you talking about Metro? You was lit about going to the studio with Jeezy, bad boy. Stop playing with me. Got a number one in 2007. When I was 17. Elementary school, yeah, boy. You was 17 in elementary? What the? The math ain't math, my nigga. What the fuck? Hype about going to the studio with Jeezy, fo. <laughs> what the f 
you hype about going to the studio with Jeezy for Metro Grooming? Hype about going to the studio with Jeezy. I'm in the studio with Jeezy. You sending beats to soldier. Bitch, that nigga don't make beats for Gucci. Nigga don't give a fuck about no Jeezy. I was in the studio with Guap, nigga. 18, nigga, young. Talking about Jeezy. What the fuck? And after this clip, Soldier went on one of the most disrespectful rants in hip hop. I gotta give some context to really show how bad and distasteful it was. So, a few years ago, Metro Boomer Mama passed away, but this wasn't just a normal situation that happened. Metro Mama was killed by her husband, and he ended himself after doing what he did. Put back the soldier. After he was sending out all these tweets, it just so happened that Mother's Day came around. And for whatever reason, he gonna tweet out saying, Happy Mother's Day to Metro Mama. And when the internet started coming at soldier. Oh, you was one disrespectful bitch. I'm sorry for pop. It, nah, that. That is hell bound. You, you were fucked up. Nah, he basically stood on what he said like it was cool or something. I don't give a F. It's always cool when somebody come at me, but when I defend myself, it's too much. F his mama, don't speak on my name. I'll be two Metro and 21 Savage. Sign the boxing contract since y'all so tough. Somebody said, you mad at him for a 12 year old tweet, dumbass. He responds, I don't give a F if it was 20 years ago. Don't speak on me, period. He said all the sales, money, and fame not gonna bring your mom back, Metro. Was it worth it? I can say F this money and this fame and still be a boss. Can you? He said you sacrificed your own mom at Metro Boom. You a pup. And when Soldier coming at Metro like this, it was only a matter of time before 21 Savage stepped in. He basically tweeted at Soldier saying, stop talking like that. This ain't gonna go well for you. Y'all know Soldier wasn't hearing it. You was a on my mama, West Side Zone went. You was from you from the UK. Oh my, you was a bitch. Well, this energy when when uh Drake was just on your boy Metro. Well, this energy. At, you was a you from the United Kingdom. You was slap them. What you nigga? Oh my nigga. Hey, what the? You talking about or oh, what? Or nigga, I'ma slap them. What you wearing Metro? Let me go look and see if that tweet still up. Nigga. You talking about pussy? You was a. You not from Atlanta? To my nigga, you from the United Kingdom, nigga, you soft as I'm over there getting out two twin Glock green beans. You was a 21 Savage. To my nigga, you ain't no Savage, nigga. On my mama. On my mama, you was a and after all these clips, the internet was just telling Soldier he was in the wrong. The other artists even stepped in saying he was wrong now. Why did Meek Mill out of all people say something? I don't know, but. He was basically like Soldier was losing touch with reality for all these clicks and likes. And Soldier responded back to Meek Mill with one sentence. Didn't Diddy F you in the ass? And this uh. had the whole internet on fire. But people were still looking past that. Cause Soldier was in the wrong in all of these situations. And I guess something did eventually click in his head cause he got online apologized. He said, I apologize to Metro Boomer for overreacting over an old tweet. Condolences to his mom. I'm gonna seek therapy and anger management. I'm done responding to the hate. No or oh and after this people were still looking at him crazy they was like well, you still say what you say and that's messed up but at least they was thankful he wasn't finna be beefing with everybody no more people felt like he came to his senses until he threw all that out the window I me mean, every time i see an old tweet i can't be going off going crazy going like bro i made millions of dollars bro i'm a legend i was the first rapper on youtube you feel what i'm saying and it's just like bro when i seen that Bro, not, that just goes to show y'all, though, like, how angry I get, how mad I get when I see niggas on me, bro. That's how mad I get. You feel me? But that still ain't no excuse, though. But I gotta be a, I gotta be a good role model to my young, good role model to my fans. You feel what I'm saying? Simple, bro. Y'all, y'all niggas to be that cool, cause it ain't, bro. It just show you that I was raised in as environment, bro, and I got a bad mindset, bro. You feel me? I be ready to just do some crazy ass That's some crazy ass We gotta learn from, bro. We gotta grow from this shit. Y'all wanna call it, but nigga gonna play with this shit, bro. And 21, you still a <laughs> 21, you still a I just ain't like what I said about the Metro shit. Nah, that was kind of, that was kind of, you know, I look back at that, like, damn, that was kind of, but 21, you still a, 
this ain't had nothing to do with you. And I ain't, I ain't say sorry because of you, nigga boy. I said sorry because of myself, nigga. So yeah, you still, still slapping. That that's what I say about the you, nigga. You still. A I think halfway through the apology, regular soldier boy came back because how you gonna apologize for this and that nigga? Then turn around and this nigga in the same breath, but. It ain't just stopping him dissing 21. He went straight back to Meek Mill. And Meek Mill, mind your business, nigga. Ain't Diddy playing in your booty hole? <laughs> huh? <laughs> ain't Diddy doing your ass? Why you on my mother? I'm riding the Maybach truck. Y'all nigga, 21, where you at? Get out the window. And if we really looking at it, I wouldn't be surprised if he started beefing with someone else right after this. I hope so. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised either. <clears throat> But something is wrong with him. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Let's see. Shaw, Alpha, out rapping. You and him, even. <laughs> That's fucking funny. Shia Flamble. They over here talking about <laughs> that nigga front <laughs> When I heard his bars, I was like, okay, that play. white boy spitting. Bro about to get sniped on the other window. Nah, shit. Let me type some. Your boy can spill a little bit. All right, y'all. It's your boy OGT Man. This, this was a good video. Subscribe to get like Prince. Boom. See y'all in the next one. Eat, eat.